So guys, in this video, we'll be going through the Week Ahead series. Now, we're going to be doing this every week on Sunday night. There'll be a video posted, so please make sure you subscribe. Uh, there's a whole bunch of videos on my channel. As you can see, here's a bunch of playlists. I've also got another match betting channel. This one here called Match Betting. I'll leave the link down below. That's going to be mainly for match betting basic videos. Whereas my channel, Pit Bets, is going to be for more experienced people. But this site here, Best Bookie, is my website and it's got the Week Ahead series. You can also find it on my other websites, I'll explain in a minute. We'll be looking at the betting offers kicking off. Now, I've been doing some sharping lately. If you're not following me on Twitter, I'm at Arbor Hunter. And I'll leave the link for that down below as well. And I put a post out the other day. I've been um, creeping back into Paddy Power and others grabbing the value with a little risk that I was gubbed from here years ago. But obviously the shop staff they move on. Uh, so asking if anyone else has been sharping and I'll put, I'll um, leave the link for the sharping video down below that I posted about three years ago. But um, look, there's some nice tasty offers on there. So if you're gubbed, get yourself down there because this is on a boring Monday, just gone. And you can just smash the bog. One thing I would recommend is to rotate the shops if possible. If you jump in the car or if you're lucky enough to live in a city centre so in a in a bigger city you can just get around quite easily then especially like of William Mills as you can see by this picture look at this for convenience wow look Coral and Paddy next door and there used to be a calf there but that's a shame I used to plot up there um, but the video in two days time will be about Sharbin follow me on Twitter this is me at Hunter website there's three match betting calculators on here by the way but this website, Best Bookie, this is quite all good if you want to check out, if you want to learn about bets and what type of bets, I'll show you in a minute. But on Thursday, we've got the golf. Now, I said here there's extra places. It's a bit stingy because there's none of the big guns out on this golf. But Ball Sports are offering 10 places. There's no big guns in there. Um, then tomorrow, we've got the Ebor Festival starting. It actually started today, but it's only the first televised races tomorrow. Um, and the main race is on the Saturday, which is the St. Ledger. Um, and Hurricane Lane is the 1.664 to 6 favourite for that. So one thing to note about this is it's going to be one of the final few uh, fest festivals or stroke meetings. I don't know how to define a festival from a meeting. Um, because sometimes they don't call them festival. I don't know. I don't want someone typing down the comments. It's actually called a meeting. But anyway, as you can see on here, Thursday the 9th, uh, to ITV is televising this. I'm not saying this because I'm an ITV racing lover. I'm saying it because the offers are usually attached to these. And you've got, um, especially on Saturday, they've always done offers on the St. Ledger. Um, also on Saturday the 11th, you've got the finals of the US Open Championships in New York. You've got the women's final on the Saturday, as they always do, and the men's on the Sunday. Now, I've written on here, call me sexist or something, or yeah, I wrote on this one or the other website as well. There's always been more offers on the men's final. Not that there's loads of offers on something like Open, the US Open. It's not nothing like Wimbledon, even though that's not fantastic nowadays. It used to be. Novak Djokovic, though, he's the 1.8, one 4 to 5 favourite in that. It seems like it's been around for ages, but I couldn't believe I googled him. He's 34 years old. And then on Sunday, we've got the Italian Grand Prix. Now, there's some good trading opportunities there. If you're into trading, then, um, then check that out. Um, as you can see down below is a blog here. I posted some videos on this prior. Um, it's mainly if like for bettors, understanding different types of bets and stuff like that. When that loads, I'll show you. Also got the Week Head Series on me. Arp Hunter website and also I've got another website called Greenheads Trading. I'll leave the links down for you below there. But um, what kind of videos are you interested in, guys? I've been entered in, by the way, while we're on the topic of um, of football, because it's England playing in an hour and 15 minutes, my prediction is 2-0 England. I've been entered in this football competition at my mate's workplace and I won it last year by a massive margin and I'm leading this year and the reason is simply this is a bit of a wrong one really I'll just do the shortest price odds on the correct scores so you get three points for a correct score and one point to, to get the correct result like if you've done Arsenal to win 
two nil over Burnley. Then Arsenal won one nil. You would only get one point because Arsenal have won and not the correct score. But I'd smashed it, and it's simply down to probability, you know, because the bookmakers' prices are lower simply because the probability of say Arsenal winning one nil. I mean, Arsenal don't win full stop nowadays, so. <laughs> but the probability for this for the lower uh, scores is, is a lot more. So that's why, and I've just been smashing it. So if any of you guys are doing that, then get on it. That's what I say. So the next video I'll be about sharping, guys. Check out the mailing list down below because I'm going to be posting lots of videos um, this week and next week and probably the rest of the year. So be sure to give us a follow. Check out this um, week week ahead series because it'll give you a heads up. I know most of you are always on those matches and stuff like that. But if there's one little thing on there that you forget about, that you get a tip about, that profits you 10, 20 pounds, then it's worth it, isn't it? You never know. Anyway, I'll be posting again in two days, guys. Good luck and come on England.